pretty clear, man. That's your own Bible. Your church has been teaching you incorrect doctrines. There's a refutation. I'm sure there's a refutation against oh, this. You're refuting gonna... the Bible, then. If no, there's a refutation. No, 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 no. Maybe I explained something wrong. Maybe I didn't. I'll Bro, isn't that passage right. clear? Yes, this passage is clear. I Why would you want to refute maybe, it, then? No, no. Let me tell you something. Yeah, go on. When, I, when, when humankind fell, Adam and Eve, when they disobeyed God, yeah. the penalty of sin was death. But God did not want that. What does it mean, penalty of sin is death? So the person who sinned had to die. So are you saying God created Adam as immortal? No, no, no I, I didn't say that. You're not listening to me. I said I'm trying to Adam, clarify. Yeah, listen. When Adam and Eve sinned against God, when they did their, their sin was, his, was, their, was their disobedience against God. When they disobeyed God, their penalty had to be death. What does that mean? They had to die. With the, do, do you know what death is? When the soul departs. You know what from death the body? is? Yeah, when the soul yeah. departs from the body. Okay. So what does it mean? The penalty. penalty. When you say the penalty is death. Yes. Does it mean that before they sinned, they were immortal? Before they sinned, they were sinless. I'll agree. That wasn't my question. Before the sin, were they immortal? Do you know what immortal means? Yes, I can hold to that actually. They were immortal. Where they did you say immortal. that in the Bible? They were immortal. What is it that they, they were immortal? immortal. No, but in the fact, idea, uh, no, but the idea of the fact that God said that the penalty of sin is death implies the fact that before, if they hadn't sinned, they wouldn't have died. Which means they were created immortal. Is that yeah, what implying? Okay, regardless. So that, do you believe when you die... You regardless. To, listen, when you die and you go to John, do you believe that you will be immortal? Yes. Same sense, because we see that the Garden of Eden was referred to as paradise. Do you know earth. what immortal on earth means and immortal in heaven means? Two different things. No, but we see. That Even Jesus wasn't we immortal in, on earth. We see that the place they were referred to. Do you know that? In, Even Jesus wasn't immortal on earth. Jesus was in, okay, in, a, in the sense of his human nature. <laughs> of course, he was immortal. This is a whole different topic. This is a whole different topic. Well, it's my, Christianity point is, and no, my point is in Genesis, yeah. we see that they are referred to as in paradise. The Garden of Eden was referred to as paradise. When you leave this earth, where are you going? going to be in paradise. Oh, by the way, do you know that Garden of Eden, according to Christians, is on earth? Do you know that? Yes, I know that. Okay, so that when you talk about paradise, God, listen, listen. is that a different so are place? are you telling me now that God's whole plan was to make humankind to sin and to, you know, do all these lustful desires, to do all of this nonsense? Was that his whole plan? Can I answer? Can I answer? Yeah, go on. Good. So, I personally believe that God created humans as humans and they have always been mortal. They were never immortal. Okay? I don't understand what you mean by when you sin, you die. Of course, because the Bible itself says, all have fallen short of the glory of God, which means everyone is a sinner. Okay? Was Adam a sinner before he sinned? Okay, so he was created sinless. Do you agree? Adam was created sinless. And according to you, who can be sinless? Good. So was Adam God that time? No, but I never said. I there never you go. Said, I never said that me humans can't be sinners. Us Christians believe that me, Saint Mary was sinless. We oh, you're a Catholic. No, I'm not a Catholic. You're an Orthodox. Do the Orthodox believe Mary was sinless? sinless, sinless. But we don't believe in the same type of theology as they do. They believe in immaculate conception. Do you not believe in immaculate conception? No. We so how do you think Jesus was conceived? She was sinless. After the hypostatic union, the Holy Spirit took away her original no, sin. No, no, no. What do you understand by immaculate conception? So immaculate conception is that she was born without original sin. We still no, believe... No, no, no. No, that's what immaculate conception is. Oh, is it okay? We, but you do believe that he didn't have a biological father, right? He, he doesn't have a biological father. Okay, good. So immaculate conception means born without a sin. Yeah, born without sin. sin. Original sin. Without original the original sin. sin. Were you born with original sin? Yes. Does that mean that when you were a baby, you were born as a sinner? When you were one day old? When I was one day old, no, I had that ancestral guilt. guilt. How can you have guilt when you're not a sinner? It Only a matter. sinner has guilt. It doesn't matter. Wait, it does matter. What no, do you mean? What, it does what matter. Is your view? What, so are you My view is like every child wait, is born sinless. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so every child is born sinless. So yes. you don't inherit the guilt of Adam and Eve. No, we don't. That is injustice. So, so when, In fact, so that when, is the biggest injustice that Christianity has perpetrated. Uh, so when, when humankind fell at the, at the Garden of Eden, when they both disobeyed against God. Yeah. So what, what, what do you think happened? It's their sin. Huh? It's their sin. It's their sin. Yeah, because they are the ones who sinned. Why should it be inherited by the children? So, would you want, so, so would you, if, you, if someone from your family was, let's say, I, I'm not, I don't mean like, yeah. let's say another person, yeah, like, like this guy here. Let's say his ancestors committed murder. Would he be guilty of murder? No. Exactly. So why should 
you consider Adam and Eve's guilt but to be passed on guilt. to his progeny. You would have that guilt because later on this earth was cursed because of Satan. No, no, because guilt. No, guilt only is for the person who sins, who commits the crime, not for everyone. No, because Ezekiel yeah. 18 says. Do you, believe, do you believe in ancestral curses? Do you believe in ancestral curses? What does that mean? So say, so say, if a curse is, you know, upon one. I don't actually. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe in idolatry. How is that idolatry? Do you know what idolatry is? Yeah, you know who knows? Maybe your forefathers were idolaters. Oh, so, so does it yeah, make you an idolater? No, it doesn't. No, but a curse can still be caught, can be calmed down until you break until someone in that family. Tree that's that's injustice. Like a, no, it's not. That's injustice. How is that injustice? Because if you perpetrate somebody's guilt on somebody else who hasn't committed it, that is injustice. That's Which you that, believe. So when you were a one-day-old baby, your view is that you bore the guilt of your forefathers. Am I right? Yes. Why would you bear the guilt when Ezekiel 18 says, have you read Ezekiel 18? Read Ezekiel 18, 20. The one who sins is the one who will die. The child will not share the guilt of the parent, nor will the parent share the guilt of the child. The righteousness of the righteous will be credited to them, and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against them. But if the wicked Wait, wait. The righteousness of the righteous will be credited to them, and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against them. It's clear, isn't the, it? Wait, the, let me read the whole thing. Did you, did you read yeah, about the guilt? Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. So the guilt yeah, of the parent will not be put on the child, nor the child's guilt be put on the father. It's very clear, man. That's your own Bible. Your church has been teaching you incorrect doctrines. There's a refutation. I'm sure there's a refutation against no, this. You're refuting the Bible, then, <laughs> if no, there's a refutation. No, 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 no. Maybe I explained something wrong, maybe I didn't. Bro, isn't that clear. passage clear? Yes, this passage is clear. I Why would you want to refute maybe, it then? No, no. But there's maybe more of an explanation to it that I don't know. There has okay. To, so look, so look at face value, yeah, yeah. the guilt of the parent is not put upon the child, okay. and the guilt of the child is not put upon the parent. Okay. To me, that is justice. And if you look at the real world today, for example, if you go to the court of law, and if they find someone guilty of murder, yeah, yeah. yes? And then they say, okay, let the murderer go free. Yeah. Okay? Or let's say, let's punish the murderer. Yeah. But then at the same time, his children will also bear the guilt because he murdered someone. Okay. Would that be justice? Not really. It wouldn't be justice, right? Yeah. Because that is what your fitra, your real soul, is in sync with what real justice is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the reason, whatever your church preaches, you have to think and question. No, maybe I have got something wrong. But anyway, regardless. I think you're, what you just said there is something which will take place in any court of law. If that I no court kids, of law I, will say the children have to bear the guilt of the, the parent who is a murderer. Yeah, but, but anyway, regardless. What, what, what do you mean regardless? No, but, do you not see the I, injustice I, I, in yes, that? Listen, maybe I explained something wrong. But my point you know the doctrine what of, the whole, what, the whole point is this. The doctrine of original sin is unjust. Unjust. Yes.